for this inaugural episode of The Friendship Stop. We are your hosts for today's show. I am Camden Reese. And I'm Brady Robinson. In our show, we want to highlight all the students' hard work in audiovisual production class at the ninth grade center. So let's get things started with a look at some fun projects we have done so far this year. Something new we are currently doing is learning how to find, develop, capture, and edit feature stories, and we would like to show them off. So let's begin with Ms. Thomas and take a look at what ASL class is like. Hey, my name is Mallory Thomas. I teach ASL. I started teaching because I wanted the love I have for this language to be shared and spread out. My favorite thing about ASL is the community that is built in there and how we get to um, learn something new and learn about a whole other culture. students get it and their eyes just light up. Um, I love the community, like the interactions that we have in the community that I have with my students. It's one of the hardest languages to learn uh, because it's not exactly word for word learning. It is interpretation and so it's very difficult but once you get up to higher levels then it will be much easier to learn. ASL is not just like, people think oh ASL is just like English but it's not. It's completely different with different grammar, different rules and everything. because one, it's a language and it's a beautiful language, but also because you never know when your hearing will go. And there are so many people in the world that can verbally learn a different language, but deaf can't. So why not change our mentality for them and learn their language? Here at the ninth grade center, our students love to explore new things. One of our biology teachers helps us with that. Miss Graves has some very interesting facts she would like to share. Take it away, Miss Graves. My favorite thing about IPC is teaching the physics. Love physics, the math, um, all the cool labs that go with um, teaching physics, force and motion. 
Um, at the moment, they are learning about the periodic tables, so how the elements, uh, how they're reactive and how they bond to each other. We're also talking about the properties of all the elements and what make them react. Uh, one of my favorite labs um, was the bubble lab in biology. Uh, the kids really got into it. They understood the concept of why the bubbles were being made. And when we were done with the lab, I let them play around a little bit with the bubbles. My favorite thing about this class is the teacher. What are you looking forward to? In the year? Yes. Mm, softball. Starting a new subject in the class. The bubble one. My favorite's the bubble one. What am I looking forward to learning about? Uh, probably the... Atoms, like, uh, biomolecules. We are currently learning about DNA and RNA. Out of all the labs, I think my favorite one is the bubble lab because it was easy, simple, and I understood what we were doing. Thank you. Have a great day. Not only do we want to explore new things, but we want to learn more about our world here at the Ninth Grade Center. We were granted the privilege to follow Mr. Singletary and see what his day-to-day -day life is as our world geography teacher. My name is Mr. Singletary. I teach world geography at the Friendship Ninth Grade Center. So I actually went to Texas Tech for a year and a half, uh, and then after that year and a half I transferred to LCU where I graduated and I earned a degree in education. Originally when I went to Texas Tech I wanted to be a coach, um, I grew up wanting to be a coach, I loved football, <clears throat> I wanted to coach football, and so I went to Tech wanting to be a coach, I wanted to coach collegiately, um, but I knew that if I couldn't coach at a college level I would have to coach at a high school level. Um, and I knew that if I had to coach at a high school level, I had to teach. And so I transferred to LCU, uh, got my degree in education, I got in the classroom, and I loved it. And I <clears throat> don't want to be a coach anymore, I'd rather be a teacher. So I've only taught at Friendship, uh, so far it's been great. Um, I've taught a bunch of different subjects in social studies. I've taught juniors, freshmen, sophomores. Um, I've loved teaching at Friendship, I've loved the culture that it's built. I love the students. I love the uh, teachers that I work with. It's been a great experience so far. Mr. Singletary makes a huge impact on his students. He has an effective and easy understanding way of teaching. I think I'd, I'd love to teach uh, until I can't teach anymore. I, I enjoy it. I love the connection with the students and I love doing my job. In our audiovisual production class, we have some amazing students who have worked very hard to make the following short stories. Today, we are going to show a few of those off. Take it away. I am the automotive technology instructor. I teach uh, sophomore through seniors. Uh, automotive basics is the first year. Auto one is the second year, and auto two is the third year. Uh, the first year class is to get make sure that they are 
sitting there trying to think of how to word this, familiar with the uh, basic operations and concepts of the eight major vehicle system. At the first of the year, you know, you gotta have safety. Uh, so we learned safety and how to keep the shop kept up. And after that, I think it was um, parts of an engine, uh, tools, so you know what you're working with and what tools you might need for what uh, job you're doing. And then we've done brake jobs, um, we can mount and balance wheels, we've done all sorts of things, oil changes, just uh, general maintenance on vehicles. And the more intimate understandings of each system that we work with. And by the time we get through with Auto 1 and advance into Auto 2, Auto 2 is run exactly like a shop environment would be. They are given a, a repair order and a set of keys. They are told to go get the car and repair the vehicle. And in Auto 2, I'm more of a facilitator than I am a teacher. I'm just there to kind of guide more than I am teach. My future career, or my dreams as a career, is a diesel mechanic. Um, I want to work on heavy equipment and semis, and I thought, you know, getting an automotive gear would be a good start, start learning the basics. He's, he gets along with all of us, he relates to us, he's not just a teacher, he's more like a friend, or, you know, he's a really good teacher, I enjoy you with his experience that he's had, because he's been doing this for who knows how long. And so he can tell us the easiest way, the best way, and he's willing to help us with every question we've got. He's Mr. Good. Benson is the best teacher. He is awesome. And uh, he has a lot of experience, so he's, a really, he's really good at teaching this. I found myself in a position to where uh, I was looking to step out, and I saw the, the lack of knowledge that was uh, coming out of a lot of the vocational programs and the opportunity was presented to me to be able to start to make a difference in it and to try to get a more successful graduation rate and get these guys to where they were job ready because a lot of them are not going to be going to college and they need a skill. So I felt that it was my job to start to get the technicians of tomorrow ready to go today. Uh, ten bucks you won't go in that place with me right now. Bet, let's go. Alright, bet. Alright. We're in, ladies. Bro, this place is big. We should uh, split up, search for some cool stuff. Let's go. Sure. Finally relax. Oh, those is glasses. Where is he? Mm -hmm. Might as well go look for him, shall we? Mm -hmm. Dylan! Dylan! Oh my god, Jace broke off my phone. <sighs> what you do, must go search for him.
Transitioning to a bigger school can be hard, so today we have brought together a panel of students to express their thoughts on the topic. Let's listen in. Welcome to today's Tiger Talk. I'm the discussion board leader, Aiden, and these are my guests. I'm Jay. I'm Marcus. I'm Braden. I'm Cameron. For our topic, we'll be discussing how transitioning from the middle school to the ninth grade center really is. So I want to ask you guys, what were your expectations for high school? I thought it was going to be like a lot harder than last year, but it's like not really. Yeah, I thought courses were going to be a lot harder. I just yeah. thought like, I thought they were going to be a lot more strict and stuff since it was high school. The it's teachers, yeah, sorry. The teachers are more lenient. They're like, they don't chase you after grades. They're like, if you have bad grades, it's on you to do it. And they kind of help us keep yeah. responsible. Yeah. I thought there would be a lot more classes than there actually are. Yeah. So how do y'all like the block scheduling? Um, I feel like it makes the day go by faster. Yeah. You, have, yeah. you have like two classes and then lunch and then you have another two. Yeah. 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 I just, I like it if, because if you have a good class, then you're in there for an hour and 30 minutes. But then if you have a bad class, you're in there for an hour and 30 minutes. So it kind of like, I feel like the good it's classes go by in like 30 minutes and then the bad classes go by in like two hours. Yeah. 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 It's a trade off. Yeah. You have to suffer, then you get to have fun. Yeah. But um, I think that I like the box schedule. Like, you know, I like it. How do y'all like tutorials in the morning? I like them. I just don't like like <laughs> waking up early to go to them. I don't no, mind. I really don't like waking up early. <laughs> <laughs> no. I, I think no one likes waking up early. No, yeah. yeah. I mean, I, except honor kids. Yeah. I don't like waking up early, but it helps you get in and it helps you get your work done for yeah. the day. And the teachers are really like, like when you come, they like help you. Like they answer all your questions that you need and stuff like that. But how do y'all like that they've started opening up like after school tutorials? I like it. Because yeah. if you can't go in, in the morning, you get to stay after school and you can go to the tutorials yeah. and make yeah. it up. Speaking of after school, they open the concession stand. How do y'all feel about that? Yeah. I haven't taken a trip to concession stand, but I know it's been open. Yeah. Yeah. It's they have some good things down there, but I think I think the after school part of the tutorials like is like a good thing for those who can't make it in the morning or yeah. don't want to wake up that early, then they have the opportunity to come after school. Uh but with the exams coming up, like how do y'all like uh, that you can be exempt from the exams? I think I, I like it. I like it because it like gives you motivation to try harder and like do better. Mm. You definitely want to like keep your grades up and stay in school. Mm. That nobody way, wants to take a hundred. That way you get to just lay in bed all day and just sleep. Yeah, I would yeah. much rather show up to school for 15 minutes than have to take a hundred question tests. Yeah. 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 But I just think like it gives that opportunity for like if you like. It gives that motivation, sorry, for like if you do good and you come to school every day and just try your hardest that you're going to be exempt from those finals and you won't have to take them. And so I just think that gives people more extra motivation. And what yeah. do you think? Yeah, I like being exempt from the finals because it gives you motivation and the higher your grade is, the more lenient they are with you and like your absences and stuff. Yeah. Mm. I just think, how do y'all like the administration here? Uh, I haven't had the punisher to meet them yet. Mm -hmm. uh, they seem like really fun and chill. Yeah, yeah the staff is yeah. definitely super nice. Yeah, yeah. they're they're there yeah. for like if you have any questions, like they'll just they'll answer your questions right there. Kind of kind of going off the staff. Do you have any like favorite like teachers or favorite classes? Uh, my favorite class is like probably reading because the teacher is like really nice and understanding. Who do you have for reading? Miss um, Beard. Mm -hmm. I would oh, yeah. say this class, audio video. Yeah, that's a fun one. Yeah, it is. Yeah, my favorite class is probably this one or my uh, AP Human Geography. I really like Miss Miss oh. Artho. Yeah, my favorite class is probably uh, ASL American Sign Language. Miss Thomas is really nice. She Wait. makes it easy to learn. I heard that uh, Human Geography is a college level course. It is. So you, it's kind of like. So like at the end of the year, so you take all these tests and it's like, it's on College Board, and it's about what, it's, it's, yeah. fifty to sixty questions, and it's you have like a forty-five minute time limit to do it, and then at the end of the year, 
There's a 75 question test. Yeah. And you have... It's like an hour and a half. I think you have like an hour and a half. And then there's uh, four FRQs. It's called free response questions. And so it's like... A, it, it asks you like so many different questions. And you have to like kind of like write it out with so many sentences and stuff like that. Do you think it's uh, harder than normal? Oh, it's definitely harder than normal. Yeah. But it's because it's a college level class. Yeah. Yeah. All right, that will do for today. From your host, Aiden, thank you for watching today's Tiger Talk. Now back to our host. Thanks for joining us today. We hope you have enjoyed our episode of The F-Stop. If you like our show, please be sure to follow us on the web at friendship.tv and on Facebook. We will see you on the next edition of The F-Stop. <laughs>